Look, he is in the desert. Do not go out. Oh, look, he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe. Here are seven biblical facts we can use to identify Christ's true second coming and reject Satan's deception when it comes. Christ is saying a time is going to come The people will tell you that his second coming has, has happened and Christ has appeared in Brazil. He says that when that is told you, don't believe it. He says that some will tell you that Christ has appeared in the desert. He says, don't go out. Don't go out, my friend. We need to know how do we know the manner in which Christ is going to come. And we're going to look through the seven biblical facts that Christ himself identified through the Holy Bible as to how the manner of his second coming is going to be. We need to know this so that we do not become deceived by Satan's deception. The first is this, Christ's second coming is a literal event. One of the things that we all need to know, the manner of Christ's second coming is that his second coming is a literal event. It's an event in history, a specific point in time. When we read Titus chapter 2 verse 13, the Bible says, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Our world is, is weary, our world is war-torn, our world is confused, chaotic and overpopulated. Our world is polluted, our world is drug-addicted and morally twisted. But there is hope for complete redemption of our world. Jesus came the first time and he will come again. The coming of Jesus Christ is literal. It is going to be an event. It is not symbolic. It is not, it is not uh, something that we said that it is going to be an, an illusion or a perception or something. But it is going to be a true event. One day we will see Jesus Christ come from the skies again. He is going to come. When we read the Bible, we are told of how the prophet Isaiah and so many other prophets prophesied about Jesus' first coming, about how he was going to be born by a virgin in the city of Bethlehem. All this we are specifically mentioned in prophecy. The same prophets also mention that Christ is going to come his second time. This time he is not coming as a baby. But he's coming as a judge to rule this universe. The second manner of Christ's second coming is this. Jesus' coming is a personal event. First, we talk about it's a literal event. Second, it is a personal event. He's coming himself. He is not sending emissaries or Christ is not going to send representatives. Christ will not send angels to come and judge this world. He will come himself. He will come personally to judge this universe. He will come personally to, to take his children home. His coming is a personal event. No one is going to represent him for someone to come and tell you that, yes, Christ has sent me to come and, and, uh, and rescue this universe. Well, it is either Christ or he is not coming again. As his disciples watch him ascend into heaven, after his resurrection, two angels came to the disciples and said, in Acts chapter 1 verse 11, they said to the disciples, This same Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. They told him, just as you have seen Jesus Christ lifted up into the heavens, this same Jesus Christ is going to come in the same manner. In the same manner he will come again. He who ascended gloriously will descend again gloriously. Hallelujah. Christ is going to come again. He will come personally. The third thing is Christ's second coming is a visible event. It is a visible event. First we'll talk about it's a literal event. 
we also talk about it's a personal event. The third is that Christ's second coming is a visible event. Visible in a sense that every eyes, everybody will see him. Somebody will not see his coming for you and come and tell you that I have seen Jesus Christ come. When you read Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says, Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him. Every eye. Every eye is going to see Jesus Christ. So if your own eyes haven't seen Jesus Christ come, don't believe what others tell you that Christ has appeared somewhere else. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, Christ himself emphasized that, then the signs of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Hallelujah. Son of Man will come, and Christ himself is saying, all the tribes of the earth will see him come again. So it is going to be a visible event. It is not going to be a secret event. It is visible. Christ's second coming is also going to be an audible event. This is what Revelation is saying. The destiny of every human being is settled. The war between good and evil is over forever. Christ's coming is going to be climatic. It is going to, it is going to be the, 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 the total of every event in this universe. Christ is coming to settle everything. His coming is what we all look for. And His coming will settle good and evil. Hallelujah. We also are told in the Bible that Jesus' second coming is a decisive event. Decisive event. My dear friend, I want to let you know there are only two classes of people and no second chance to make a final decision. When Christ comes, there is going to be only two classes of people. Those who are on God's side and those who are on the devil's side. We do not have a middle ground. And so it is better you make your decision before probation closes. You know, Right now that we are all alive, we have the time to make a decision. If, we, if Christ does not come in our time, before we die, we have the time to make a decision. Whatever decision we make until the point of our death is final. It is not going to be an event that will give you an opportunity for you to make a decision again. I mean, Christ... Christ's second coming will not be a time for you to change your mind and say, oh Christ, now I have believed you. In fact, now I am accepting you. It is over, it is over. Just like the time of Noah. Noah had preached for so many years and he told the people to repent. For over 100 years, Noah was preaching. And when the rains came and God himself shut the doors of the, of the ark, the people were knocking on the doors of this ark, asking Noah to open. But he told them, it's late. It is late. My dear friend, if there is ever a time for you and I to make a decision for Christ, it is now. Because when he appears, there will be no time for decision making.